Well, you were either there or you saw all of the people there through social media. Wasn't the football team taking the Cardinals home field last night? Beyonce brought her Renaissance World Tour to Louisville and Ellen and Cardinal Stadium. And fans tell Wave News reporter David Mattingly the event was more than just a concert. That's right, John. It takes a special kind of performer to fill a room as big as a football stadium. And last night, Beyonce delivered both on and off the field. Running to midfield, Beyonce is caught on fan video taking charge of a stadium crowd in ways no athlete or sporting event could. Her Renaissance World Tour was a dazzling experience for the senses. The cheers from tens of thousands of approving fans say she more than met their high expectations. I mean, everywhere you look, you just see people all around you, and everyone is just so excited and happy to be there. Julia Hoffman was among WAVE employees at the show. They found themselves surrounded by people from all over the region, Cincinnati to Atlanta and beyond. The Beehive found lasting memories in Louisville. Everyone around us was just shouting all of the lyrics. I mean, you could tell everyone was true fans of her just because of the energy that was all around us. After spending hundreds for seats on the field and $55 t-shirts, fans still needed to sleep and to eat. Unlike concerts at the Yum Center, downtown wasn't the only place to see a Beyonce bounce. They typically probably stay in that area. They typically probably eat in that area. I do think with it being at the stadium the way it was, it's going to be more of a draw around the city. People are going to um, the citywide, we're going to feel that a little bit more. In the meantime, all the hashtag pics and all the videos are flooding social media platforms, projecting a cool image the city can't buy. One that concert goers may never forget. You know, this is where you go to have a good time, and this is where you go to make memories and create these lifelong experiences with your friends. And Queen Bee continues to work her magic in a very busy week. The Renaissance World Tour takes her next to Minneapolis on Thursday and then to Chicago on Saturday and Sunday. David Mattingly, Wave News.